Hey folks, so if you haven't uh, been to this channel before, I'm a 34-year veteran in the antiques and collectibles industry uh, on the Canadian prairies in Manitoba. So what I do on the channel is kind of show you some of the uh, behind the scenes stuff, uh, what I've paid for things, how I've obtained things, that sort of thing, and show you some of the inventory and the like. Um, as well as some uh, POV videos on certain picks and the like. But uh, anyway, today I picked up a bunch of stuff from auction, but uh, I also went to a antiques sale or a uh, antiques garage sale in the country. A uh, fellow that's moving back to BC uh, had come out here, I guess, some time ago, but is now moving back and was liquidating. Um, Anyway, uh, I guess he grew up out here and then moved out to BC and then back, something like that. But anyway, here's what I picked up from that sale. Uh, cast iron directional arrow from a lightning rod weather vane. And it, as well as uh, a cast iron top from a bridge lamp, that, those two cost me $25. He charged me for those. So that was pretty good. I'll do fine on those. The uh, bridge lamp top is probably 35. Uh, the directional arrow, I think, is probably more around the 75 or so range, maybe a little more. Uh, if I can get a piece of glass cut for this and a little tab put back in here, possibly more. Um, I'll have to do some double checking on that, but. Uh, if there's a discrepancy, I'll let you know on the screen. And did get kind of another neat piece. And then I got another neat piece. Uh, this was his childhood uh, baseball uniform <coughs> from uh, that the nearby town of Elva. A little tiny place. I don't know if it even exists at this point. But... Um, <coughs> Anyway, was his from when he was 10 years old. He's 76 now, so we're talking about 1958. So kind of a neat uniform with pants and everything. Cotton uh, needs a bit of cleanup, which I'll give it a, a wash. I think it will sustain a wash pretty easily. So it's still quite intact. Cotton, just kind of a neat, really neat vintage uniform. Really cool piece. Um... Anyway, let's see. And we'll get go on to the next piece. Um, gun stock, which or rifle stock. Uh, this isn't anything particular, I don't think. Anyway, but I create steampunk guns from salvage materials, so that is going in my parts pile for uh, making some steampunk stuff. Anyway, and also got a Suris Creamery uh, scribbler. So it was advertising for Suris Creamery. It's Creamery, it's blank inside, but it's got the advertising for KO. That was a chocolate drink there. Um, or was basically that was a franchise KO. They had that across Canada and different from different creameries. And then we got a peanut butter can, Beverly peanut butter. Needs a good cleaning though. No lid. I think I have a lid that'll fit though. So that's good. And got a couple. Um, Northern Alberta Railroad Social Club uh, mugs. Now, these are probably pretty common, or not necessarily common, rather, but uh, NAR stuff is actually tough to come by, so that's why I picked them up, even though they are fairly fairly modernish, being 1975, but uh, they could hold some some value, I'm sure. Just because they are Northern Alberta Railroad. And then a couple enamel shades. 
there. And basically everything cost me total $130. So you can decide whether I did well or not. Uh, still got a few things to go out of that lot. Um, got some license plates, including a vintage BC Auto one. Uh, North Carolina. I picked up some odd ones. The, he had a ton of, ton of BC and some Manitoba and such, but all stuff I already have lots of. Um, but anyway, so I picked up a few U.S. ones and such. Did I just see something fly out? Nope. There we go. Oh well. Anyway, um, so got some more California. Got a Washington. And we've got 65 Nevadas. Not sure if those will have some more value being 60s ones, but who knows. Check online just in case. And we've got three cast iron hooks. And we've got a bottle, drug bottle from Melita, Manitoba. J.A.W. Hewitt. So that's kind of cool for local type stuff and we've got a Ford or what we believe is a Ford hood ornament so yeah so that was pretty cool that he charged me a very reasonable price for that one uh, it was 15 bucks so and like I said everything total cost me 130 so you decide whether I did okay or not but uh, I think I did fine but it does have to pay for gas and fuel. I did travel an hour out of my way to go to this sale. So, and didn't get anywhere near as much as I'd hoped. But anyway, uh, so I will go on to the stuff I got at auction next. So folks, I think actually what I'm going to do is end the video here. And what I'm going to do is a separate video of the auction purchases. So I'll try to put that in the corner of this video. So check it out. And uh, thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing, picking, thrifting, scrapping, etc. Thanks for watching, folks. Take care.